guys, Carol 97 again. I just got out of bed and what's the first thing I see? The trailer for the newest Gundam series. Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans G Tiketsu. And man, this trailer has got me hyped up eh, for the first time in quite a while for a new actual Gundam series. Not OVA, not a short, but an actual series. And the trailer immediately kicks off absolutely perfectly. It gives us the action with those little mechs, I guess they're also going to be called mobile suits or maybe they're going to be uh, like those petite mobile suits from Zeta. But the one thing I really liked about them was the attention that they got in the trailer. And not just uh, the little mobile suits, even the tanks got a little bit of attention. And that really gave me that uh, 08 MS team vibe. We haven't really gotten any super realistic Gundam series, unless you want to count uh, Build Fighters, of course. But ever since the 08th MS team, we haven't really gotten a series that also focuses on the non-gun or the non-mobile suits things. There have been some series where, of course, tanks played a little role, but I really wonder how big of a role they're going to play in this series. Another realistic thing that well, that I think is going to happen, that it seems like the main character isn't going to be a random Gundam pilot. He isn't just going to, you know, one day be an average kid and then suddenly be thrust into the Gundam seat. Because, well, we see the characters interacting in like a very uh, militaristic type setting, like they're all eating around that table. And combined with the title, it makes me feel like it's going to be about, you know, a bunch of orphans that are trained to become pilots. Maybe they're trained to become pilots of those little mobile suits that the main character stumbles upon the Gundam because of some kind of raid. But one thing's for sure, the main character definitely seems like he's going to be a trained pilot before he gets into the Gundam. So, all of those things considered, I think that G. Teketsu has very good potential to be the next more mature kind of Gundam series, maybe something even a lot of people have been waiting for, especially based on some of the comments, and I absolutely don't think I'm alone to think that GT Ketsu has the potential to become a more mature series, if it wasn't for the character designs. Overall, they are awesome. There are some badass looking characters, the main character's a bit, eh, he's younger than the rest, but that's a staple in the Gundam series. It's not the first time we have a young Gundam pilot, except only that would actually be the exception to the rule. The one character that kind of blows it, um, I don't think I have to point out which one it is, the one that is called Biscuit. And no, I'm not making that up, the fat guy is called Biscuit. And that really kind of harkens back to the Gundam Age character designs. He definitely doesn't look out of place next to some of the more ridiculous character designs of Gundam Age. However, the thing about Gundam Age was everyone initially hated on the characters, but Gundam Age eventually succeeded in becoming a more mature Gundam series. And that's the only thing I'm going to say that it succeeded in. It succeeded in becoming a bit more mature uh, towards the middle and towards the end. So, I'm hoping that GT Ketsu managed to do the same, and despite having a biscuit in there, they will still be able to become a lot more mature. Because, you know, we're probably going to be talking about a bunch of orphans. Now, on to the mech design. The original Gundam... well, the Gundam uh, that we're gonna get, uh, the Bar... Barbados? 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 I... I don't... No, I really don't know what to think about that thing. Maybe it's going to be like uh, turn A where originally you think, Oh my god, that thing has a mustache. But by the end you actually kind of actually really start liking the design. Um, I'm not too sure. The one thing I do really like is the greys. Or the craze as it's spelled in English. Um, but the thing about the greys is it looks really really nice and it even gave me like um, I don't know like an armored core feeling or uh, Kotobuki as new frame arm series and that's not a bad thing that is a very very good thing I'm totally getting that gunpla I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the Barbados's gunpla immediately but the Grace is absolutely something I'm going to get so I'm 
once again also looking forward to seeing some of the newer, uh, some more of the mech designs. Because so far they are looking extremely well. So overall, that leaves me with a very favorable impression of G Tiketsu. Judging, only going by uh, the picture we got in the last week, I really wasn't that excited, but this trailer managed to do what uh, hasn't been done in quite a while. It really got me hyped up. A lot of good stuff came out of it, with only a few things that make me question it a little bit, but overall, I am totally, totally hyped. So that's pretty much all for this first reaction video. Definitely leave your own reactions and thoughts down below. What do you guys think? Is it going to be more mature? Is Biscuit going to ruin everything? Or perhaps what do you guys think about calling the fat guy Biscuit? Uh, I don't know. Other than, well, Biscuit being more like a name for a dog or a cat, not really a person. Like, eh, they probably could have chosen something better. Maybe it's going to be like his call sign or something. I really hope that's gonna be the case. But then again, with that kind of character design, you can expect anything. So then that's really about everything. Leave your own thoughts down below. And, you know, maybe comment, do you want more reaction videos to future trailers, uh, to the first episodes? Leave your comments down below and see you guys next time.